The first space tourist was Dennis Tito. It was paradise. He paid $20 million for the adventure in 2001. The latest space tourist, American Richard Garriott, blasted off from the Baikonur space base in Kazakhstan on October 12th. Lift off of the Soyuz rocket transporting Mike Fink, Yuri Lonchakov, and Richard Garriott to their home in space. He spent 12 days in space, most of the time on the International Space Station. He completed his adventure last Friday. Before heading into space, he spoke with Voice of America. From a young age, I actually devoted uh, a lot of my personal investing uh, towards the privatization of space travel. And uh, so even though my career has been in computer games, I have uh, been an investor in the privatization of space for 20 or 30 years. So far, only the Russians have launched tourists into space, but others are planning to and involved, including Garriott himself. The price of entry to space, uh, as you might imagine, is not cheap, at least yet. Uh, and uh, the price is about $30 million is uh, the uh, price at this stage. Uh, you know, uh, uh, I also happen to be an investor in uh, Space Adventures, the company that's making this happen. And uh, we're hopeful that in the long run, the uh, cost of getting uh, private citizens to space will come down dramatically. Another entrepreneur, Richard Branson, has plans to bring space travel costs down. He unveiled models of Virgin Galactic's White Knight 2 last July. It is a carrier craft being built to propel passengers into space aboard a vehicle called Spaceship 2. Jim Sheehy of Pro Travel International is one of 45 travel agents authorized by Virgin Galactic to sell seats on the spacecraft. Price is $200,000. The ship drops free, ignites a jet engine, and then about uh, 90 seconds later, hits a speed of 3,000 miles an hour in a vertical climb. Virgin Galactic says more than 100 people have already signed up for a trip aboard its spaceship, too, and the first space flights could take place in 2009. Paul Cisco, VOA News.